Rocket the Ahoa, Rocket the Ahoa Shy, Rocket the Ahoa, Rocket the Ahoa Shy, Rocket the Ahoa, Rocket the Ahoa Shy, Kohalo, Yahoa Bashin Yahoa Shy, Bashin Rakal Kadash. Let's all praise to the Heavenly Father in the name of the Son and the name of the Holy Spirit. Shanya Kabad Lahaz Akwan Yam Shah Yasha Allah, that's double honors to the elders of Israel. All right, which are the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, GMS, who rule well. Shalawan Wa Barakim, Laha. Uh, peace and blessings to the house of David, all right, whom the Lord is raising up in these last days. Shalom. <clears throat> this is uh, Zechariah chapter 5, verse 1. Then I turned and lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a flying roll. All right. That flying roll is uh, the chariots, okay? What uh, people of uh, this day know as UFOs, unidentified flying objects, all right? But they're, um, they're chariots, all right? And they're described as a flying roll, all right? It says, and he said unto me, what seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying roll. The length thereof is 20 cubits and the breadth thereof is 10 cubits, all right? Going into the description, it's the size of the, of, of the chariot, right? Because they come in all different, um, size and shapes. You know, Ezra describes a chariot uh, being the size of a mountain, not being able to see uh, where it started or where it, where it ended. That's how big that chariot was. You know, and Yahweh Shai, when he comes back, he'll come back in a huge chariot. All right. Th this is verse 3. It says, Then said he unto me, This is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. For everyone that still it shall be cut off as on this side according to it. And everyone that sweareth shall be cut off as on that side according to it. All right. But this is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. All right. This is the curse. Okay. Because that's, uh, that's the future prophecy of Revelations chapter 1. All right. Verse... Uh, we'll read verse 1. It says, This is the revelation of Yahusha HaMashiach, which the Most High gave unto him, to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. All right, so Yahusha, um, this is the revelation of Yahusha, all right? And he gave it, gave it unto his servant John on the island of Patmos, all right? So when it goes into the description of his return, We've we'll jumped down to verse 7. This is Revelation chapter 1 and 7. It says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. And they also which pierced him, and all kings of the earth shall well because of him. Even so, to walk. All right. So it says, and when, the, when the Heavenly Father sends his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, when he makes his return, he's going to come back with clouds. All right. And what are those clouds? It's it's those, uh, it's that uh, it's that roll, all right, that uh, Zechariah saw that flying roll. This is Psalms one o four, all right, and three. It says, "Who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters? Who maketh the clouds his chariots? Who walketh upon the wings of the wind?" All right, so the clouds represent the chariots. All right, the chariots look like the clouds. They can disguise as the clouds, all right? And the angels are the ones that are in those chariots operating them. It says, who maketh his angels, spirits, his ministers of flaming fire, all right? Because the Lord, he's known as the Lord of hosts, all right? And host means army. And his army is um, uh, built up of or consists of um, the angels, all right? And when Yahweh shall returns, like it says in Revelation, the first chapter, Revelation 1 and 7, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. All right, and every eye is going to see him. That's why I said in Zechariah, this is the curse that covereth the whole earth. All right, because the whole earth is going to be covered in chariots. All right, the chariots are going to fill the heavens. All right, and every eye is going to see them. It says, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him, even so to walk. All right, because so all the uh, people of the earth are going to be crying and wailing when they see the chariots because the, because the Lord is coming back to kill. All right, um, this is um, 
Isaiah chapter 66. All right. Verse 15, it says, For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. All right. The Lord is coming back with his chariots. All right. And out of those chariots is going to be uh, concentrated fire. It says to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. All right. Because the Lord. All right. Yahweh Bashin Yahu Shai, the heavenly father. And his only begotten son, they're in, they're upset, all right, because of all the wickedness and the atrocities that have been committed upon the earth, okay. So when they come back, they're going to rebuke the earth with flames of fire, all right, through the chariots, all right, and through the ICBM missiles, the nuclear missiles that are going to be shot off across the face of the earth when Yahweh Shai is making his return, all right. Verse sixteen it says, "For by fire and by a sword will the Lord plead with all flesh," all right. So if you go into that word plead, all right, Salakia, Salakia, if you go into that word plead, all right, it's, uh, see if I can highlight it. All right, well, we saw it. It's Shapat, man. Uh, you know, Satan wants to be the adversary right now, all right? It's Shapat. All right, which means judgment, all right? Um, the Valley of Jehoshaphat in Hebrew is Yahweh Shapat, which means most high judgment, all right? And the Lord is going to judge the earth, earth by fire, all right? So Isaiah 66, 16, it says, For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many, all right? Because when the Lord comes back, many people are going to uh, be judged by fire. They're going to uh, die, all right? That's why it says that all the earth are going to well because of him <clears throat> all right this is uh the book of matthew chapter 24 okay and we'll start at verse 27 this is matthew chapter 24 verse 27 it says for as the lighting cometh out of the east and shineth even unto the west so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. All right, because when Yahweh Shai makes his return, all right, he's going to come from the east all the way over to the west. All right, because when the sun rises, the lighting, the light from the sun, it goes from the east to the west because the sun rises from the east and sets at the west. Yahweh Shai is going to come make his return at the east, all right, and then make his way all the way over to America, Babylon the Great, which is all the way west, all right? Verse 28, it says, For whosoever the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. All right, because um, if you read in Revelation, the 19th chapter, it talks about how the Lord has a great supper prepared for the fowls of heaven. All right. Verse 29, um, Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heaven shall be shaken. All right, because, you know, the scriptures talk about the day of the Lord being a dark day, a, a, a very dark day. All right. And one reason why it's, it's going to be a dark day is uh, because people aren't going to know what's going on. All right. They're not going to understand the prophecies. They're not going to understand why all hell is breaking loose on earth. And that they're not going to understand that the Lord is making his uh, return. All right. Another reason why it's going to be dark is because the chariots are going to actually cover the skies. There's going to be so many chariots in the skies that's going to actually make the, the place physically dark. All right? Verse 30, it says, And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. All right? And why are they going to mourn? Like it says in Revelation 1, all right, it's because the Lord is coming to bring fire, render his fire and rebuke uh, with flames of fire. All right? It says, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. All right, everybody's going to see the Lord come make his return, make his grand entry, all right, with power and great glory. Because when the Lord comes, he's coming to subjugate the whole earth, all right? He's coming to take out the rulers and put them into slavery, put them into captivity, all right? He's also coming to uh, cleanse the earth and establish righteousness on the earth. All right, so when he makes his return, he's going to come with power, all right, because nobody's going to be able to 
um, stop him from for, for fulfilling the will of the Father. All right, establishing the kingdom of heaven on earth. All right, and great glory. All right, because the chariots are going to be glorious. All right, and Yahweh is going to be in his angelic body. That's why it says the Lord's not going to meet thee as a man because he's going to be a powerful, angelic being. All right, verse 31, it says, And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. All right, because simultaneously, as Yahweh Shai uh, cover, uh, comes, returns with the chariots, all right, the elect are going to be delivered. All right, the elect are going to receive salvation. Okay? And uh, that's described right here. This is the book of Psalms. Chapter 91. We'll start at 1. Alright. Psalms 91 and 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Alright. The scriptures say in Amos the third chapter, Surely the, the Lord power doeth nothing, but he revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. Alright. So the secret place of the Most High is these scriptures. It's these under it's the understanding, the true proper understanding of these scriptures. Alright, and the true proper breakdowns. Alright. The word of the heavenly father. That's the, that's the secret place of the most high. All right. It says, and shall abide under the shadow of the almighty. All right. So if you're in this truth, you call on the name of the Lord in sincerity and truth. You have faith. The Lord is going to protect you. All right. You're going to be under his shadow. All right. The scriptures say in, um, let's get it. This is, uh, Joshua chapter one. All right. Verse eight. It says, this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. But thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way pros prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. All right, you, you meditate upon these scriptures. Uh, the Lord is going to make your way prosperous. You will have good success. All right, verse 9 says, Have not I commanded thee? Be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy power is with thee, whatsoever thou goest. All right, the Lord is going to, is with us. All right, the uh, the Lord is with those that believe in His Word. All right, and that's calling on His name in sincerity and truth. All right, they abide in the in in the shadow of the Almighty. All right, the Lord says, this is the Book of Matthew, chapter eighteen, verse ten. It says, "Take heed that ye despise not one of these little ones, for I say unto you, that in heaven their angels." Do always behold the face of my Father, which is in heaven. All right, the Lord has individual angels, all right, um, that are watching over His elect. Okay, that's gonna make sure that no harm comes comes nigh to them. All right, this is a. Uh, uh, let's see. Um, I don't know if I can find it. Let's see. Salaki. Let me take a look real quick. All right. Uh, yep. This is Psalms chapter 34 and 7. It says, The angel of the Lord encampeth around about them that fear him and delivereth them. All right. So the angel of the Lord. All right. All right. And the angel, the top angel of the Lord is Yahweh Shai. All right. But the Lord has angels that are watching over his elect. All right. And making sure that they're okay in times of trouble and, and, and in all times. All right. Verse, Psalms 91 verse 2, it says, I'll say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my power. And in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with the feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. All right, the Lord is going to deliver the elect into the chariots. All right, they're going to be de they're going to be safe from the noisome pestilence and the snare of the fowler. It says, verse five: Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flyeth by day. All right, those thermal, when those when those missiles get shot off. All right, the elect are going to need protection. All right, they're going to be in the chariots, and the Lord is going to be protecting them. Okay? Verse 6, it says, Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth that noonday. Okay? Because the Lord is coming.